All right, thanks, Keith. Knoxville County was one of the harder hit areas today. Homeowners there took on some heavy damage. Our Stephanie Poole was there and has more on the story. Shattered glass, broken trees. This is one scene Aisha Cotton wasn't expecting to see this Easter Sunday. It was something we've never experienced before. Cotton says a tornado was the last thing on her mind when she purchased her home. Just minutes before it passed, her family took refuge in a nearby room down the hall. But as the tornado was passing through, my mom and I we were in the bathroom. It was very traumatic. Um, but we just prayed and prayed till everything was over. And then after it was over, I came out. That's when Cotton realized her world had been turned upside down. Broken windows, shingles from the roof, even tree limbs now cover her home. And across the road from her house, you can see a semi truck turned over on its side. Just in the past year, we had a one to one traumatic incident with a previous home. So it was like all those emotions coming back over again that our home is destroyed. But in the midst of this tragedy, she gets grateful no one was seriously hurt. Overall, we're safe. Praise God, we are safe. Life is short, and I counted all the blessings that each day we are here. If I had a thousand tongues, I couldn't even explain how thankful and blessed we are because it could have been much worse. Cotton says all she can do right now is wait and pray that her home can be recovered. Reporting in Noxabee County, Stephanie Poole, WCBI News. Well, no injuries have been reported in Noxabee County so far. We've reached out to Highway Patrol and emergency management officials in that area. We're going to have more updates as they become available.